Sup ladies and ghouls, my name is S.E. Wingless, and let me be the first to welcome you all to the network. Now for those of you that found this channel, give yourselves a round of applause, because by the end of this video, you will definitely leave here with something to take with you. What to expect from this channel? Well, it could be anything. It could be art. It could be a little animation. It could be something you know. Or it could be something that you just found out. Now, I'm no teacher. I'm just a random art enthusiast. With that being said, I've got a cool little trick to show you all. So, for this video, all you need is a drawing that's already inked and ready to be worked on. You can use black micron pens or whatever you prefer. Just make sure it's in black ink. Second, you would need a scanner or a printer that has a scanner. And if you don't have a scanner, you can use your cam phone. Just make sure that you take good pictures with it and there is no shadow on the image. Third, you would need a laptop or desktop. And finally, you would need Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, whichever you prefer. Or if you don't have that, you can use Clip Paint Studio. First, I'll scan my work. Make sure before the work gets scanned that you put the DPI to 300. That's very important. It'll make sure that your work will be in perfect size when you load it up into Photoshop or whatever program that you're going to use. Next, let's load it up into Photoshop. From here, push and hold command, then press J on keyboard. This will make a copy of your image so that you can work on it later. Now with your mouse, you are going to highlight the background layer. Select white on your color swatches. Go over to edit, fill, then hit OK. What this does, it will fill the background white, completely erasing your image off of it. But don't worry, because you still have a copy of your image on a new layer. Highlight layer one with your mouse, go over to image, adjustment, then levels. Now you're going to mess around with the input levels for a bit. The white triangle and black triangle is what you'll use to get rid of the pencil markings and darken the line art. After you are fully satisfied with the result, hit OK. Next, select the magic wand tool. If you can't find it, it's hidden in the quick selection tool. Just left click and hold. Then release and you should see magic wand tool. Now, next to tolerance, Make sure that anti-alias and contiguous is unchecked. You'll see why in a moment. If they are checked, just click on the boxes to uncheck. Now with your magic wand tool, click on the white space of the image, then push delete. Now your ink image is by itself on a layer, and the white background is the back of the image. Now, if you're looking for an easier method, 
here's a little cheat code. If you have Adobe Illustrator, load your image. Select your image and go over to Image Trace or Live Trace, then push OK. Go to File, Save As, name your file, and save it as the AI file, also known as Adobe Illustrator. Next, load it up to Photoshop, push OK. Now you have your image in Photoshop. Select Magic Wand Tool, make sure Anti-Alias and Contiguous is unchecked. With the Magic Wand Tool, select the white part of your image then push delete. Now you have your line art by itself. This part is for those of you that have Clip Studio Paint. Go to Edit, Tonal Correction, then Level Correction. Just like how levels work in Photoshop, you're going to mess around with the input selection. Black triangles darkens your line art, white triangle lightens the bright colors. This is so that you make sure the blacks are black and the whites are white. Sometimes traditional art picks up other colors. You may get a little red, yellow, green, blue, or whatever. To get rid of those colors, go over to Layer Property. Underneath Layer Property, select Expression Color. Then select Monochrome. Go over to your layer and right click on the mouse. Select Convert Layer. Then hit OK. Finally, go to Selection. Select Color Gamut. Now with your mouse, select the white part of your image. This will select everything but the line art. Then push OK. Last, press Delete, and there you go. Command D to deselect. So I hope this helped those of you that's looking to transfer your ink work to computer. Anything else that you want to see, comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.